Hello again, fellow rose and flower lovers. This is Gwen and I garden in Raleigh, North Carolina, Zone 7B. This afternoon, I am going to show you something that has made me very happy and actually made me surprised because this is quite a pleasant surprise. I have posted a video um, two weeks ago, an update of the 14 David Austin roses that I bought um, as bare root. And I planted them when I had that, when I made that video, I planted them nine weeks ago. But um, as of today, it's been nine, 11 weeks. So you probably, I, I will put a comparison picture um, on the screen, but um, I was quite surprised of the growth that, that happened over the past two weeks. And this is Cipterdile. This is totaling by gently. That there's not much um, difference, only that it has bl bloomed and, um, but the size of the plant is almost about the same. <sighs> My squash is really very, very prolific. It's everywhere. So go back squash that way. So this is. Sorry, I'm not able to focus very well. Claire Austin, and Claire Austin is about more than a foot tall now. And here's a bud that's starting. Oh, two buds. And here is, I think, Ancient Mariner. No, Generous Gardener. Now it has like a lot of branches and leaves and it has i think doubled in size at least in its girth and here is olivia rose austin and it has already flowered this is her maiden bloom and although it has strips unfortunately but it has also increased in in its height by about probably six inches or a foot and even this one which didn't have any green leaves at all have these leaves in here a branch although i am not sure if this is if this is the rootstock that branched off that is giving a sucker or the Kew Garden, I mean the Kew Garden itself. But I am just amazed how, you know, because I declared it a goner um, during that video two weeks ago, but look at that. And also this one, I declare this a goner as well because this is Harlow Carr and it's thorny and i know Car harlow car is thorny so it could be harlow car so that's why i am so amazed and so surprised and amazed um in here no matter how much i water it no matter no matter what concoction i used it didn't wake up it didn't put in new growth and also this one but here is Lady of Shalot, and look at that. As well as Bosco Bell. Look, it has one, two, three, four, five, six, six buds. And also, oh no, I can't 
find its tag. All right. So this is Princess Anne. Also has three buds. Um, and I'm gonna show you some more. And here is Jude Obscure, and I, I said in that video that I was not sure if it was um, the rootstock that was um, putting on a soccer, but since it looks like it's going to be a yellow flower, most likely this is Jude Obscure. Although I'm sad to say also this flower, I mean also this flower, also this one didn't make it roll doll but i am just amazed of the growth of these roses and would you like to know a secret of what i i used so would you like to know what concoction i used for these rose plants to miraculous miraculous miraculously be reborn i call it reborn because i already um declared a few of them dead at least two or three and yet now they they have given me this new shoots and um leaves and um even the ones that was like barely making it now have um, new buds so i'm a member of one of several Facebook groups that talk about roses. And in one of those Facebook group, they were talking about great big roses. One of like the first one of um, rose fertilizers that's being talked about by um, several Rosarians um, to provide big blooms. And for 32 ounces, I think it cost $23, something like that. And for a gallon, it cost $49.95. I just looked it up in Amazon. And that's another expense on top of several expenses already incurred, you know, just buying these roses, the soil, um, other amendments, and stuff like that. So... Um, it was being talked in one of the forum that great big roses and a member said like if you want the same effect um, instead, of, instead of buying that expensive great big roses why don't you make a concoction of fish fertilizer um, seaweed extract or kelp I don't know if she said kelp meal or seaweed extract and humic acid um, solution and I know that I already have all these um, ingredients, so to speak, um, in my arsenal. So that's when uh, I said, oh, let me try that. But I didn't really have much, um, you know, hope for it. But since I have them, I said, well, why not? I love experimenting. So I went ahead and take out all these ingredients. And here they are. So, fish fertilizer. I have this kilt meal. I usually use this when I'm um, planting roses in pot, in in a pot or in a ground, like bait. Most oftentimes it bear root roses together with the mycorrhizal um, fungi. And then, you know, it looks humic acid powder. I mean, I bought this humic acid powder two years ago. And what I use this on is when I mix my own soil and I put that as one of the amendments. And this is how it looks like. So 
what I did is I didn't even make an, an exact measurement. I just poured um, content of fish fertilizer and then um, probably I used probably 10 or 12 ounces and then a cup of the kilk meal and a cup of the humic acid powder. Put it in, um, a th I think I would say three gallon pail and then mix it there and fill it, you know, to the top and left it, put it aside. And two days later, um, that's what I used to um, fertilize rose, my roses. And I didn't use that um, as is. I have to dilute it again. Um, one cup of the solution, no, two cups of the, the solution to um, three gallons of water. And that's what I used to water those um, roses in there. And two weeks later, I was so amazed and surprised how, you know, much they have gained. So I am doing another um, experiment there is a poorly performing um, rose in there. I think you also, if if you have seen my watched my video before, I put in a video among the ten David Austin Bear Root roses that I posted um, last week. I'm not sure. Um, one of the roses in there was also underperforming. So um, yesterday, I watered that rose with the same concoction and I'll find out if it will provide me with the same result. So there you go. Try this concoction. It might surprise you and thank you for watching and I hope to see you again on my next video. Bye bye.